Sean is the main character, he wins at supporting. Um, <laughs> Aziza meets Charlie Parker in an unspecified bar on 52nd Street. And she looked at him. And he was a forest of floating caskets, and that was just in the eyes. And he saw his appetite shovel him at the joints, and it is frightening to see a wrist mid-excavation. The shock the same as seeing your mother naked, to see the scars of your birth on her abdomen. She can tell he wants to run away but he has at least 10 small graves keeping his body at the counter and what she did next was out of pity and there was no behavior to give it a name. A name is one of many small borrowings and she wanted to own something that day. She took his liter of whiskey, broke the bottle into a set of shark teeth and carved a front door in her neck. She looked at Charlie and coughed. Walk inside. This city is perishable. But it's warm here. Bird, don't you know I would die for you? So this is the next one that I, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> oh no, what's gonna happen? <laughs> She's not gonna know it now. <laughs> I, I'll, do, I'll do it. Yeah. Go ahead. Hypnophobia. A fear of sleep. A fear of dreaming. Someone is choking you while you sleep. It is your English teacher. The one who wears those awful khaki pants that show his manhood everything. He cackles over your bed, your skin, that hot piece of coal. Someone must have cut the wire, the one connecting your brain to your backhand, not even an eyelid will save you. He hears your heart, he can't stand the pulse of it, the off-putting way you want to save yourself. He rolls up his sleeve and tunnels his arm down your throat, uproots your heart, says to you, eat it. You are an unstitched doll, learning her parts as she loses them. Yeah. I'm not afraid of the night, I'm afraid of its obligation. To close your eyes and unleash that tight fist of knowing I could not have been born this way. For every fear there is said to be a triggering effect. Someone holding a gun saying, this may be my fault, but it's still your story. A fear of sleep is a fear of losing control. In my hometown there was a girl up the street that knew every part of you is a mouth. Look at you. How open you are. How your body can only say yes to me. Look how your fight forgot you. I can never land a punch in my dreams. Never rip my attacker apart nail by nail and see how helpless that house was. I'm not a fair fight. I don't know a lot of words. I don't know how to say I slept with every man after you and woke up on fire. I don't know how to say everyone in my dreams is born of you. I don't know how to say you cannot have me. Not now. Not again. Don't sleep by yourself. There must be some part of you that don't trust the rest of you. Try to find someone who don't want to gouge out her eyes just to make sense of the dark. This was never about finding a savior to share the bed with. I am not lonely. I am not the weak calling my sickness the tyranny. What I fear is what I can't hold, what I would win the world for. <laughs>